with Hurricane Milton. We've saw some of the damage reports mm -hmm. come in, but we're still kind of getting more video coming in even now as rescue operations are underway. And this is actually what we saw down in Tampa this morning. We saw quite a bit of storm surge, uh, but we were kind of going back and forth, checking in with this rescue crew operation that was kind of floating around an apartment complex, uh, seeing what they were finding. And eventually, as they moved around, shining lights into apartments that are completely flooded, might I add, and mm -hmm. that are on boats, you can kind of start seeing a family with a dog hop onto a boat. So a, a rescue operation uh, successful, getting people onto the boat and getting them to safety out of this flooding prone area with the hey, storm surge. Mm -hmm. I actually want to note something. If you can see on the side of that video you see the windows are boarded up yeah. and the thing is I think a lot of people sometimes don't understand even if you have windows boarded up which is absolutely fine the water the water no matter what if you mm -hmm. have your windows boarded up or not when that water gets through you still have situations yeah. just like this like it might stop debris from breaking your window but it won't you know it won't stop that flooding that flooding is kind of like unstoppable at that point yes water is very powerful and I think uh, and another important thing to point out is this storm moved so fast heading into its its landfall that now these rescue operations they turn from daytime rescue operations to early morning middle of the night rescue operations incredibly mm -hmm. difficult to see people uh, this is what we were seeing earlier we were kind of shifting back and forth with this with this video uh, this is where the boat was just kind of shining lights everywhere they were flashing lights into uh, into buildings to see if they could just get any type of response from people that were stranded inside uh, just with a lot of flooding this is where mm -hmm. a street would normally be and it looks like a river is running through the town yeah and that's that storm surge unfortunately you have that unfortunately the ocean becomes a part of the street and mm -hmm. it takes a while sometimes for that to go down. And how long do you think this storm surge here in Tampa is going to be basically in the area? Jordan? So the what happens is the hurricane is going to have to move out of Florida and the wind direction is going to have to shift. But sometimes that can take hours and sometimes it can take a couple of days. The good news is since Milton is actually moving fast and it's moving away from land, unlike Helene, mm -hmm. um, it should be out of there within probably the next day. But of course, it's a slow recession of that water. And even on a, a regular sunny day, when we talk about the ocean we talk about the beach forecast we talk about rip currents how dangerous they are now we have people stranded in this water where these rip currents are are now a part of the storm surge and yes so sometimes you can have that standing water and even though that they have standing water you can have currents within that water you can have debris within that water animals that can, within animals. that water we've seen alligators inside of apartment yes. buildings throughout yes. the morning and mm -hmm. that's how certain things happen so sometimes it's not some people survive the actual storm but even the aftermath just being stuck in that water mm -hmm. can sometimes have life-threatening impacts the water a major damage report obviously throughout Milton but even the winds caused quite a bit of damage this is Tropicana field this is where the Tampa Bay Rays play baseball um, and this it was a dome and it is no longer a dome the winds have ripped off mm -hmm. Uh, the roof of Tropicana Field. This is in St. Petersburg and also in St. Petersburg wind collapsed or knocked over a crane. Ashley, I know we were reporting yesterday that the cranes in this area, the workers and officials at the time said we don't have time to hunker down the cranes mm -hmm. themselves. Those high winds caused them to tip over. Mm -hmm. And you know, they did say these warnings for the past few days for people to just be alert of those cranes in the area and the winds, the winds were just too strong for the cranes and you know this was the result of it. And it's not even just that over in over in Sarasota, you see a lot lot of flooding right here from the storm surge, several feet just rising up and also happening in Naples, which is north of Fort Mi north of Fort Myers. Right here you see the beach before Milton hit yesterday and you see how quickly the water is coming to shore. I mean, you can't even see the sand over here for how quickly that water is approaching and then later resulting in so much flooding happening. I mean, you see the flooding in Naples here again and it almost rising up to the buildings and, you know, hitting these homes before it made land fall yesterday and I, I found it interesting this is a uh, manatee boardwalk uh, down there in the coast look how much water mm -hmm. is, is just churning yeah. and it's violent looking and is like, what we're seeing yeah and like the current and the waves are just so strong as you see in in this video 
Uh, it, it is something that we're going to continue to monitor. Of course, we're going to go back and forth between our, um, our, our rescue operations. This is live currently uh, where you see people, you have a boat on the back of that trailer. Uh, they're going to have to put that boat in the water because you're not going to be able to take that car to where people or that van to where people need to be rescued. You've got a little John boat there that they're, they're about to deploy and see if they can find people that are stranded in, in are in need of help. So of course, we're going to continue to monitor uh, what's happening with Hurricane Milton as it's moving across the peninsula and leaving a wake of destruction. Keep you here on Wake Up Wiregrass. We're going to be right back.